behind my bathroom door for like five minutes waiting for her to put her head back down and cuddle with the cat and now I realize I can't even see it because the lighting's so bad. No, I'm not even cuddled at all. I've just wasted five minutes of my life when I should have been packing all this. But they were so cute. This is a feral kitten. Long story. They just multiply around here. Anyone who's lived on a farm probably knows what I'm talking about. Like, cats just show up. The things you do to get cute clips and then it's not even cute. Let's see if we can just walk up to them. Hello, family. Uh, this big old bed is not going to be able to fit in my new house. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess just get like a king, like a normal person. <laughs> it won't be the same, right guys? This is your play spot and also my organizing my stuff spot. You're bumping me a lot, Sylvester. Hmm, right, I'll just introduce you now. A soft introduction. This is Sylvester, and my sister found him a couple months ago. And this is a loon. I don't know if you've ever met her before. And this is her best friend. Okay, oh, a loon, a loon, a loon! Please don't do that. And then this is Gomez, who was um, part of a huge, like several hundred cat, cat colony, and a local uh, little r rescue group picked up a whole litter of kittens, and if they were able to find homes for them within the first week or so, they were totally, he's completely feral. Um, this is like huge that he started sleeping on the bed. I've had him for months and he's hated my guts every second of it until recently. Hi. Uh, anyway, so this local rescue group takes them in, fixes them, gives them their vaccines, and then uh, tries to find them homes if there are young kittens that they think can be socialized. Otherwise, then they will just re-release them into the the trailer park where they pick them up. And this boy just, I don't know. I don't know. I went and got him before, a couple days before they were set to send them back out into the wild. And then he has spent, yeah, the last few months becoming best friends with these two, right? But not so much me best friends all day long. Don't, don't hump him though, please. Oh my God. <laughs> Why can't you love me this much though? Uh, yeah, but he started sleeping on the bed and Sylvester, you're such an attention hog. Um, this is huge. This is huge that he lets me pet him and he'll play with me <coughs> alone. No because up until recently I've been considered really scary, a terrifying monster. Oh yeah, and he doesn't have a tail. He just has a little poof ball. Who was playing with my nylons, hmm? Oh, sweet boy. But I'm really glad that he has bonded so much with the other pets because obviously I'm taking them with me when I move and I was really worried about how he would adjust. You get a tongue in your mouth. Look at this. This is huge. We are best friends. Hi. Oh, Aloon, don't ruin it. You're being too aggressive. Don't scare him. Hey, Gomez. Kitty kitties. Yes, Sylvester, we all see you. Such an attention hog, huh? I don't know how many cats I have. Aloon? not really what that's there for but it's fine just don't pee on it or anything crazy are you a handsome boy Review, make sure you can see me. I've decided I like this coat because we were wearing it for a second time. It's really warm though. Um, so big crazy things are happening today, but it's all exciting, so I'm hanging in there. I'm at the new property right now. I have a big building arriving today that I just spent 
several thousand dollars on. Oh my gosh. It's, this is strictly for the sanctuary because I have the pet cottage right now. And so all those animals need a place to go. And so they are going to have their own house here. I just had to buy it because there wasn't already one existing, unfortunately. So um, I found a, a really great one that I think is going to be perfect. And that is about to be delivered, assuming I can find a way for it to get in here. That's what I'm really worried about. I have to go measure a bunch of things and fingers crossed it's going to fit. I think that this is going to be wide enough. This delivery person's going to be so mad at me. It's going to be really tight. And the other problem is on the other side of this, there's a pretty big ditch that I didn't realize was there, like coming from the road. I thought it was smooth and it's not. So I don't even know that they're going to be able to get up here. Oh, and there's this. I don't have cutters for this. Oh no. My plan is falling apart and I'm out here by myself. Okay. Right there is what I'm thinking. Like right here, right up against that white fence to give you some idea. And then it'll also obviously cover that gap and reinforce that section. I sat here for an hour and a half because the delivery people got really, really lost. The GPS sent them all over the place. Um, it barely made it through the gate, so that's the great news. And they're pretty sure they can get it where I want it, which is great news also. Unfortunately, they keep getting stuck in the yard. <laughs> so we have it, like, you can't really see, but there's a long chain attached to this tree to keep them moving. We're going to get it. We're so close. It's only taken the last, like seven hours of the day from start to finish. So it's worth it. I can't wait for you guys to see the inside. Outside, it doesn't look like much. It's gonna be repainted red and get some cute little shutters and it'll be better, but the inside is really nice. We're unstuck. This is so nerve wracking to watch though. I want it like against two corners of a fence. I thought it seemed like an impossible idea, but they were, nope, we'll do it. And so far, but man, I just know for me, even with a little tiny trailer, it <laughs> takes me hours to back up. So I'm very impressed, even though they keep getting stuck. It's raining though, so that doesn't help. Everything's wet. Scared watching this right now. My stomach hurts. Is this what it's supposed to look like? I feel like it's gonna fall and then it's gonna roll like down the hill, crashing through fences. And then my building is gonna be lost. And the money is going to be gone. <gasps> Why are they doing it? Oh my gosh. Is this what they're supposed to... Oh, I, I actually... Can't. I have to look away. You guys tell me what happens. <laughs> I'm so scared. This doesn't seem right. But I have no idea. Also, it's like 6 o'clock now. And this has been going on since 10 a.m. Worth it for the end. Oh my gosh. That was so scary. Whew, okay. To go. I think I just peed a little. <laughs> and then they still have to turn it. It's gonna be dark. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. And boom. <gasps> so scary. Please don't be loud. I hate loud noises. It didn't drop. Never mind. I'm wrong. That wasn't bad. Oh, because it's on a hill. Oh, this isn't good. Well, darn it. You can't see anything. It's actually not as dark as it looks on this, but uh, it is pretty dark and it's raining really hard. But they're turning it. It's so close. Also, I have a feeling it's so far because I just heard them yell some profanities. So something's going wrong. I'm really hungry and I really have to pee. And I really want to go home. <laughs> I'm sure they feel the same way. At least they're being paid to be here. If my pets don't appreciate this, nothing nothing if they don't appreciate it i'll just get them something better i guess i just got home uh it's 11 o'clock i started this day's journey well it was supposed to be at 10 is when it, the building was being picked up and then i was supposed to meet them there at noon and so basically my whole day has been devoted to this um thought it was going to be finished around two and then i was gonna i had an appointment to get my truck appraised and some other stuff but um it's 11 o'clock long story short um i haven't eaten anything i've had to 
TMI for like seven hours. I have sat in my truck for the last, oh, I, I really, no longer than that. I don't wanna know, a really long time. My back's killing me, I'm tired. I wanted to shower, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Uh, anyways, I'm making some mushrooms and then I'm getting in bed. Um, of course, all the animals have been taken care of. I still, on the long drive home, it's an hour, um, was thinking about how lucky I feel right now and how much this crazy dream I have had for so long. It's kind of coming together. I mean, these are baby steps, you know, fixing the fences there and getting these enclosures and houses out there and everything, but still, I think I've, as even, even as it progresses and becomes slightly more achievable every day, it still has felt like this faraway dream and there's just no way that it's actually gonna work out because that would be too incredible. And so, yeah, I feel so lucky every time something comes together, even if it takes all day. And a lot of money. I'm not gonna, this was a very expensive building, but um, worth it, absolutely worth it. And I am just, yeah, I'm feeling really, really grateful. And I hope that, that it keeps moving forward like this and maybe I can pull it off. Maybe we can pull it off because I know you guys encourage me and support me a lot and that keeps me going sometimes. <laughs> I'm scatterbrained right now, but, um, but it's happening. I'm gonna keep sharing every single step with you if you're interested. I did not even get to see inside. I've seen the pictures inside it. It's amazing and I can't wait to show you when it's kind of more set up. But I didn't, I was so tired. I didn't even look inside it today. So I've not even seen it in person. I hope the pictures weren't a lie. Okay, good night. So I'm taking down this privacy fence from the current house to load it up and take it to the new house so that I don't have to buy a bunch of fencing because these are really expensive panels. There's all this. I'm trying to decide this chain link. There's two rows of it and it's really tall and it's more durable than regular chain link. But I feel like it's gonna be a lot harder than this project. So, especially since I'm not even doing this one, I'm just standing here filming. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Okay, I'm gonna try not to show you too much because I'm recording <laughs> um, because I'm gonna do a video that's when the house is completely empty and it's mine showing the whole thing but um, I'm here right now working on some more stuff today fencing and stuff but I feel like this was moving I'm just I don't want to show too much of the house there's, there's like a, a specific video for that but here's a sneak peek okay uh it got so late last time I did not even walk in this so I don't, I haven't been in here yet. Why I picked this one. First of all, it's, it's a good size. I can definitely fit all the small mammals in here, but I love the way that they were doing the interior with all of the barn wood and the tin. I'm gonna put, oh, I have the perfect light for right here too, especially since it's just a plug and not an actual light. I have like a little chandelier and finish the tin roof ceiling really cool. uh-huh and then finish the reclaimed barnwood walls but this is the house basically for right now the plan is the rabbits guinea pigs ferrets hamster what else do i have rats gliders everything will be in here the reptiles i might get really crazy and give them their own greenhouse i might put the reptiles in that other small shed actually so I'll have like a small mammal room and, you gotta paint it. and a small reptile room. And that way I can keep their humidity and everything. Just have the whole room be perfect for reptiles. But we'll see. It. Yes. And paint it on the outside. I could even end up whitewashing the barn wood at some point if I decide it's too dark in here. That would be really cool though. It would. And that would make it a lot lighter. Because mm -hmm. it is a little bit dark in there. Yep. Or it needs more windows. And then yeah, painting the outside. I'm going to paint the outside of all the buildings eventually is my goal. And I want to paint them red. All right, let's get to work. Yeah. So there's this one. Then this one would be for reptiles. It's a little bit smaller, but still plenty big. And then I can do like wall to wall custom enclosures and probably move it over here. So, what else do I 
squeaky. Can you see this? It doesn't even matter if you can see me right now. See my backyard? It's so nice out right now. It's so nice. I already want to go sit on the dock, but I have to get to work. Yeah, so I am moving in in like a week. A week, which I kind of, that's insane. I thought I had two weeks. I have, it's, it's one week that they'll be out, so. Okay, now I have to actually help. What'd you say? Nothing. Something about helping? Yes, I have to actually help now. This is the pigs area. So we hung this gate here for the pigs. This used to be an opening, this one, and instead of hanging a gate there, because it would have hit that gate, uh, we just ran fencing. And then for these bottoms, we've got this matching board run all along the outside. So it looks nice from the outside. We didn't have enough to do the whole inside. So instead, we haven't put those up yet. We just did matching these ones as a brace all along, all along the inside. They're screwed together, super sturdy. And so we're working on back there. And then they have under here for shelter. And also, this is, I'm gonna put new floor, but it's completely enclosed, really nice, doesn't leak, so I can make it really nice in here. Of course, knowing me, I'll probably go overboard and turn this into like an actual room basically in a house <laughs> um, i envision wood floor maybe a little heater <laughs> uh paint the walls put up some artwork give them a couch i don't know i don't know but this is their little indoor space and they get a view of the pond also can you tell how dirty i am it's a lot of dirt you but yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in case no one believes you. Yeah, I really worked. I promise. Yep. It's all closed. Privacy vents torn down. <laughs> Unloaded. Well, torn down. Cut the nails off of it. Got it here and unloaded it. Because this section here doesn't have fencing, so I'm gonna run privacy vents along it for the dogs that like to escape every other kind of fence. And also now that I have those sheds placed, which I had to hire someone to do, obviously it was not cheap. Um, but now that it's there, I want to move it. So that's a fun update.